Welcome back. A huge highlight for me this week is the newly announced partnership between Esri and Autodesk. Hello everyone, I'm Taisha from the City Engine team here in Zurich and welcome to episode number seven. The other episodes will be linked at the end of this video. And don't forget to comment below if you have any City Engine hacks that you just can't live without. Last week, some massive news was announced at Autodesk University in Las Vegas. Esri and Autodesk are joining together in a collaboration that intends to put GIS and BIM at the center of projects. This will help to drive smarter decisions and ultimately facilitate the concept of smarter cities. This partnership builds the bridge between GIS and BIM and will change the way we plan, design and build our future. So stay tuned for some really big things to come from the collaboration between these two technology giants. And I'll make sure that I link to the press release in the description box below. I'm also looking forward to showing you another awesome award this week. Remember to add the hashtag CityEngine or CityEngineArt to your posts on social media if you want to participate. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the 3D viewport in City Engine. Beautiful 3D visuals are important for everybody and we've improved the rendering quality in this new release. So this week's highlight is that City Engine now supports transparency sorting. This means that semi-transparent objects are now finally visualized correctly even when they're behind each other. This is not only useful for today's glass buildings but also for schematic visualizations of semi-transparent building and zoning volumes. So try it out for yourself and let me know what you think. This week I found a really great example of City Engine content from the Tel Aviv University City Centre project. Although still in the early stages, these are some fantastic visualizations done with City Engine. Thanks so much for this great example and I can't wait to see what the finished project will look like. Once again, thanks for joining me this week and see you next week.